An artist's shocking past has caught up with him in San Francisco. As a result, a $750,000 installation of his work is on hold indefinitely. ABC 7's Sergio Quintana reports on what that artist did years ago that is coming back to haunt him now. Tom Otterness describes his sculptures as cartoonish and whimsical, but a film he created more than 30 years ago has animal rights activists like Anita Carswell incensed. If you knew a 25-year-old right now who went to a shelter, lied to the staff, took a dog, chained him to a fence, and shot him, you would not excuse this person and say, well, he didn't know any better. In 1977, at 25 years old, Otterness produced a video he called Shot Dog Film. I talked with Otterness on the phone from his home in Brooklyn, New York, and he plainly apologized. In his words... It's a really inexcusable act, and when I try to explain my act, it just sounds like I'm trying to justify it, and it's just inexcusable. Similar controversies have erupted in other cities over his video, but San Francisco leaders just learned about this now, a week after his contract was signed. We learned of this last night. I got a call from Mayor Lee, who uh, uh, was uh, extremely upset uh, this afternoon when he heard of this news, uh, and I've been directed as president of the Arts Commission to place a halt on any further work on this particular art installation. Otterne has told me he hopes San Franciscans can forgive him for something he did more than 30 years ago. I asked a few dog owners if that's possible. Well, on one hand, it's quite disgusting. I can also understand uh, uh, the evolution of an artist as well as a human being. Maybe because I'm a dog lover, and perhaps everybody deserves another chance. But to do this... By, des you know, by design, it's not something I can ever identify with or accept. Now, with the contract now frozen, the Arts Commission will revisit their decision to award this installation to Tom Otterness. And since a contract has already been signed, Arts Commission President P.J. Johnson says they'll likely also have the San Francisco City Attorney examine the issue. In the newsroom, I'm Sergio Quintana, ABC 7 News. All right.